Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on how to enter opening balances for accounts. Okay, so this is a question I get quite a bit on, you know, if we open a new account, let's say it's a bank account in QuickBooks or at the bank, and we need to show that we deposited money into this account, how do we show that opening balance in the account? Uh, now, so this is going to go through one example of how you're going to do this. Now, there can be many, many different scenarios of of entering opening balances and accounts. Uh, specifically, if you're just starting to use QuickBooks from a different program. So, if your business has been in business, you know, for a while, and you're using some other program, or even using an Excel spreadsheet, and you need to enter opening balances in these accounts, uh, you uh, may follow a little bit different process and it gets a little bit detailed of how to enter those opening balances. But I want to show you the basics of how to do this. So in this example, what we're going to do, we're going to assume that we're going to open a new bank account. And so we've gone to the bank and we have uh, deposited money. We have transferred this money from another one of our accounts into this account. And we need to set this up. All right. So the most basic way, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our chart of accounts over here because we have to first set up this account, okay? So we're gonna say that this is a new money market account, all right? And in this sample file, they have account numbers, so we're gonna say 10, uh, 350, okay? So we're gonna say new. So what I did here is I right-clicked, I clicked new, or you can go down here and hit account and hit new as well, all right? So we're gonna choose this, we're gonna say this is a bank account, all right? So you click bank and then you hit continue, all right, so the number, if you do number, okay, this is in preferences, so if you don't number your accounts, that's quite all right. Uh, we're gonna say uh, money market, okay? So this is a separate savings account, it's a money market account. Uh, will we make this a sub account? Not in this example, because they don't have checking or bank accounts as a main account, so this one is not going to be a sub account. All right, you can put in a description if you want to, you can put in the bank, the routing, all that information. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, okay, is you're gonna see a button here that says enter opening balance. And if you wanna read about this, you can say, should I enter an opening balance? All right, this is gonna help walk you through about these scenarios when this makes sense. All right, so if I say enter opening balance, you're gonna see here it says enter the ending date and balance from the last bank statement you received before your start date. All right, so this is gonna be your QuickBooks start date. So if you started the file on you know, May 1st, uh, you're gonna pull the bank statement for um, April 30th and use that balance. All right, so let's just say uh, this balance was $100, all right? And you're going to say the statement ending date was November 30th. All right, we click OK. And then I hit Save and Close. All right, I've got to do a password because I have a password set up on the previous, um, uh, previous dates that I have closed the books for. OK, so you can set up online services. Right now, I'm not going to do this. All right, so you're going to see here what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this down because I want to reorder this to where I would like it to go. And you're going to see we have a balance of $100. Okay, so I want to show you what this looks like on a balance sheet, okay, and what QuickBooks does. Because I want you to understand where QuickBooks will put this. All right, so you're going to see here, we've got the money market account, $100. Okay, that happened on November 30th, and this uh, balance sheet date is December 15th, so it's going to show up in this account here. All right, so when you record this opening balance, what QuickBooks does is it puts it into this account, opening balance equity. So you can see this $100 opening balance equity. Opening balance equity is, uh, for lack of a better term, a plug account in QuickBooks. All right, so what, what QuickBooks assumes is that you personally put this money into the business, so it's counting it as equity for you, all right? In general, you don't wanna use this opening balance equity account, all right? Because, um, you know, money that you put into account, so in this example, this was a transfer, 
And in this case, it's putting it to equity as if you put it in the business. So in general, you don't want to use this opening balance equity account because it is a plug account for QuickBooks. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here is because I recorded this opening balance and because I don't want it to be an opening balance equity, this was simply a transfer from another account. Okay. I'm going to open the transaction and I'm going to say from account. Okay. So we transferred this from the checking. So I'm just going to change it to checking. Okay. Account opening balance, a hundred dollars. All right. And I want to show you what this does. So if I hit save and close, say yes, put in this prior password. Okay. So now you'll see it takes it out of opening balance equity. So it's gone. That's a good thing. So if I go back to my balance sheet, you're going to see it shows money market account, a hundred dollars, but if I scroll down here in the checking account, let me go all the way to the bottom here. Uh, you're going to see where this hundred dollars came out of the account. So let me scroll up to November 30th. Okay. When I did this and you're going to see right here on November 30th, I transferred a hundred dollars from the checking account to the money market account. Okay. So that now keeps it straight, takes it out of opening balance equity and shows what actually happened. All right. So the important thing to remember here is when you do start a new account, and if you do enter an opening balance, you have to think about where that balance came from. All right. So if it did come from you as a deposit to the business, then it would be equity, or it could be a loan from you to the business and the business owes you this money back. All right. Or it could be this transfer. So any opening balance you do enter in QuickBooks, it, it's very easy to do in the chart of accounts. You enter that opening balance and uh, right when you set up the account and it's going to show it in QuickBooks. That's a very easy way to do it. Now where people get in trouble is uh, they do that, but they're not thinking about where that money came from. So you really have to think about where it came from and how it got onto the books so that you can record it correctly. Any questions whatsoever, any comments, uh, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Leave them below in the comments section. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. We'd love to help you out over there. Uh, the website is qbuniversity.org.